Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Shore communities up and down New Jersey had their eyes on Cape May, New Jersey last weekend, where they had a partial reopening. And now other shore communities are going to follow suit this weekend. Here's our interview with Cape May Mayor Clarence Lee. Uh, Mayor, thank you so much for doing this. I hope you're doing well. We are. Thank you, Larry, for having us. Hey, you got a lot of media coverage last weekend after you, uh, I'll call it a soft reopening, in that you were able to open the beaches and, and some of the businesses were a little bit more crowded. How did it go from your perspective? I was on the uh, boardwalk on Saturday. I went down to the convention hall area. And from what I could see, it was very well managed. I mean, the, the idea was to reopen the beaches uh, for activities, not to sit or sunbathe, but to keep moving, exercise, jogging, walking with the, you know, your, your family, and uh, it went pretty well. We, we, I know the police department was out to remind some people, hey, you can't sit here yet. That's not part of the, the, the plan at this point. How did the businesses do? Businesses are still the takeout. We, we don't have the retail stores open yet. It's still the takeout uh, food from restaurants and pizza shops, that type of thing. I, I know that uh, the county of Cape May and many of the mayors have petitioned the governor, have written a letter to the governor to allow a bigger reopening of the county. What was in that letter? Well, that was uh, a proposal that was sent to the governor. It was put together by a task force, including, including two of their freeholders, um, uh, Mr. Desiderio and Mr. Mori, among uh, businesses and other community-involved stakeholders. In that proposal, set forth a date to reopen as far as seasonal rentals. And I believe that is um, the proposal was for the 11th, Monday. Short-term rentals would not begin until June 1st. It talked about capacity for restaurants uh, starting off at a certain percentage and also encourages the communities, towns like Cape May, to consider how we can accommodate restaurants with limited seating and being able to expand out into a more common area something that um, maybe some of them don't do right now, don't have any outdoor seating. That so, is, um, that sounds much more aggressive than the governor is willing to do at this point. He just extended his emergency order. That's what I, I heard. And I know that he was very impressed with the proposal. Um, I don't know if we're the only county, but it was a very thorough document. And uh, I would encourage um, people to take a look at it. The county put a lot of work into it. I mean, Cape May County is so important, not just for Cape May County, but for the state, the economy, and I don't know the exact number, but I'm going to say six billion gets poured into the state from Cape May County on tourism. It's, it's so critical to the health of Cape May County and to the state. Well, this weekend, it sounds like many communities in South Jersey followed your lead from last weekend in their reopening. I know you met with the mayors this week. Sure. What was the feeling? What did they all say? They are, again, we're, Cape May City last week opened the beaches on Friday for that weekend. Again, limited beach opening, promenade opening, with all the precautions in place, social distancing, and just stay away from people that, you know, uh, we were even discouraging people from sitting on the benches. We didn't open the bathrooms, which was a, an issue. It, it's, a, it's a whole other topic that we've got to deal with in this environment. Now, how do we maintain uh, safe, healthy restrooms for the guests as well, for people going to the beach? Uh, but the other communities, I believe they are slowly reopening. Cape May Point, Stone Harbor, uh, Ocean City. They're all looking at it individually, how they can best fit uh, their circumstances. I mean, Cape May County has been very fortunate. I don't know if you've seen the numbers. Our numbers, I think, we're the, um, in the counties in the state, we're the second least active cases uh, of the COVID. So it's been, we've managed that. Residents uh, have done very well in distancing, staying away, and, and abiding by the by health uh, you know, recommendations. There has been some criticism that people in South Jersey feel as if the governor has been ignoring South Jersey. Do you get that feeling? I, I, I don't. Uh, he's concerned with the state. And of course, when you look at the numbers uh, up north, some of the counties are just being devastated by the numbers. And, and he's looking at the big picture. And yet, we know Cape May County, our numbers have been good. Uh, again, we want to make sure we do this safely and, and strike that balance of, of being able to keep our businesses. We have so many small businesses that are, that are dependent on that very small window of time uh, to stay afloat. And, and we want to try to encourage that and yet maintain safe, healthy environment. We have a lot of seniors here in Cape May City. 
And if you can't reopen for the summer, say, the way that you have in past summers or anywhere close to it, mm-hmm. what will that do to small businesses? What does that do to the economy of Cape May and Cape May County? Well, sure. I mean, the, the, the effect all up and down the, the chain between the, the shop renters, the employees, our, our Cape May County is just so dependent on tourism, that the dollars, I mean, that small window. But the, the property owners, even for the city, I mean, for parking revenue, uh, our, our economy, our budget, uh, beach tag sales, like many uh, shore communities, we, we pay our lifeguards, our, the cleaning of the beaches. So much is dependent on people coming here, and it really will be devastating. When you say devastating, businesses going under, layoffs, that type of stuff? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, we, uh, uh, our economy being seasonal, we have a large unemployment issue during the, during the off season, and we look forward to that time of year, that three, four months of the year. And uh, businesses just need this time. Well, I certainly hope you're able to reopen. Uh, I think a lot of people who have been who have been uh, sheltered in place during this quarantine or would love to get down to the shore this summer. They've been out. They've been walking the boardwalk. They love the view. And uh, again, we just want to make sure they can do it safely and, and uh, continue to enjoy the shore. Mayor, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. That was Cape May Mayor Clarence Lear. Still to come. Food banks are seeing more and more visitors in these hard times. We'll visit one when Jersey Matters continues.